Turn signal switchbacks for the Toyota 4Runner. Made by a company called Last Fit. And apparently you do not need like a resistor or anything and there won't be any hyper flashing. So we're gonna go ahead and install these and see if they're telling the truth, which they probably are, but I'll let you know. So what these switchbacks will do is when you have your running lights on, at the stock amber bulb in there right now. With the switchbacks, there will be a white light that stays on with your running lights. But when you flip your turn signals on, it'll have the orange or amber blinker for your turn signal. So what we're gonna have to do here, and I just washed this thing. It never fails. There's dirt on it already, but that's okay. What you're going to have to do get rid of these so there's going to be four bolts or screws there's one right here as well right up here so there's four bolts or screws you can use either but there's one there 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 and there that you'll have to take out in order to get to the housing for the turn signal um, if you have a stock forerunner by stock, I mean like not lifted or aftermarket wheels. I think I have plenty of room that I don't need to rotate my tire, but you may have to do that on a stock 4Runner. But we'll give it a try and see how it works out. The only tools you should need for this are either a Phillips head screwdriver or I'm using a socket. This is a 10 millimeter socket, but that should be all you need. So. It shouldn't be that bad. I hate saying that because every time I think something's not going to be that bad, it gives me more headaches. So we'll think positive. So we'll start by taking these bolts or screws out, whatever you want to call them. That little bulb socket right there. That's what we're gonna take out and we're gonna put the other one in. So you just gotta reach your hand up in there and grab it, twist it, pull it out. I don't know if this is really necessary, but this helped me put on rubber gloves not because I care about getting dirty but because I was trying not to touch the LEDs with my hands once you get your old bulb out you can get your new bulb installed and feed it back through the same way you took the other one out My recommendation is once you have it installed or partially installed before you put everything back together, test it out. And it works. But if it does not work, all you have to do is take the bulb out of the housing, flip it over the other way and plug it back in and it'll work. It'll just save you time in case you took everything apart, put it all back together, and have to do it again. So now that that's done, we have everything installed, and the light works, we're going to go ahead and button everything back up, and then we'll uh, proceed to the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car on just so the uh, daytime running lights will be on along with the running lights, so.
listen to that beast, big V6. So you'll see on this side, all right, the running lights are on, and this will be white while those are on, along with your daytime running lights or your headlights, whichever you need. As you can see, this is a stock one on this side, and it's just amber. And when you flip the turn signal on, it flashes between white and amber, making it look like your turn signal's on, which it is. I don't know, it just kind of gives it a cool look. And there's not supposed to be any hyper flashing with these. That's what the stock one looks like. It just blinks amber. There's nothing wrong with it, just... I was just trying to update the look, which I think that looks pretty cool. But it's just lights. Go ahead and leave your car on so you can get carbon monoxide poisoning. It's a good time. Don't do that. <laughs> but now we'll go ahead and knock out the other side. It's the same thing on the other side as this side. This is the driver's side, but it doesn't matter. It's all the same. But I'll knock that side out. I don't think you necessarily need to see a sped up video of me doing that because I just did it on this side, but pretty simple and I'll show you the finished product. Right now, so far, with the turn signals and everything, I didn't notice any hyper flashing or anything like that. So, so far, so good. I mean, I haven't used them that long at all. I just installed them, but I'll make sure I update everybody if uh, there are any problems. But all in all, pretty easy install. And so far, pretty good product. But um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.